कश्मीर चल रहा है खुले आम कश्मीरी हिंदुओं का कत्ले आम हो रहा है हेलो एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज भारती In this video, we are going to talk about the movie Kashmir Files. Of course, we are not going to talk about what is in the movie and what is not because I am pretty sure that all of you have watched this movie by now. This movie has crossed 200 crores of box office collection with just within India. Not even talking about the worldwide collection. But what is it that this movie is offering beyond showing the facts and realities which took place in the Kashmir Valley in 1990? This movie. is offering several things to several segments of our society why am i saying that let's look into it segment by segment first of all this movie has shaken up a huge majority of our society huge majority of hindu society by saying that this is something that happened to the people who were just like you hindus who were just like you in your own country not too far away not during the time of partition not during the time of islamic rule not at that time this happened just 32 years ago that is what this movie has said and because of that because of this real portrayal of what happened with the kashmiri hindus and i am deliberately using the word kashmiri hindus and not kashmiri pandits because it did not happen with them because specifically because they were pandits but it happened to them because they were hindus at large now this movie has told and shown this huge majority of hindus in india that the relieve galiv chali chant sort of sloganeering which took place in kashmir valley in from basically from 1986 to 1990 but intensively in 1990 as it shown in the movie that can happen to anyone in india just because they are hindus that can happen that might be happening obviously in a different language and different slogans right now in birbhum so that is the reality and that's a shock of reality that a large majority of hindus has received they have also understood that the slogans which were raised in the kashmir valley at that time e zalimo e kafiro kashmir hamara chhod do same thing could be said to them obviously in different language in different parts of the country that is the reality check that they have gotten after watching this movie which is exactly why you see many emotions many reactions from people after watching this movie you will come to that but before that there is another segment the same segment which got shaken up because of this movie that segment is also being shamed that segment is also feeling ashamed of doing basically nothing a large majority of people a large majority of our countrymen did nothing at that time in 1990s to help kashmiri hindus to help kashmiri pandits because maybe because they did not know about it social media was not that was not there internet was not there because of all of that they perhaps did not know about it there was complete monopoly on the media and the how the circulation in media would go how the narrative would flow as we have seen in the movie because of that large majority of people in india did not even know about it and i am not saying this pallavi doshi the actress who has played brilliantly the character of professor radhika menon in the movie kashmir files itself she herself has said it in many interviews that she did not know about the intensity of what is happening or what had happened in kashmir valley so because of media dominance and because of lack of social media the large majority of indians did not know about it of course there was another reason that they were too busy in their day to day life to make the ends meet to put food on the table that they did not have time for any of this thing to be even active about these things in say politics or social social uh, problems or even religion to be precise because they absolutely did not have any time look this is something which is extremely horrible the genocide was happening in your own country to your own people and you chose to ignore it or you did not care enough to look into it so that is another segment that is being sort of shamed not deliberately 
so again as i said pallavi joshi herself has said that she did not know so there is there is no deliberate attempt by the movie to name and point and shame these people but that is an inadvertent reaction that is coming from the people from the audience after watching this movie there is another segment which is quite an important segment the kashmiri muslims who were for last 32 years were saying that oh well we wanted to help you we were not happy that you were all going the kashmiri hindus were going the leaving kashmir they had to leave kashmir because we were also afraid because there were people in with kalashnikovs in their hands and they were threatening us as much as they were threatening you so we could not do anything because there were people on the roads in our gullies with kalashnikovs in their hands we take this opportunity and we do stand in solidarity with you they have this opportunity to accept this olive branch or maybe to decline it but it is up to them what they do about it to sort of provide even resembling to anything resembling to a healing touch to the kashmiri hindus who suffered a genocide finally during the second world war as the allied forces approached or started capturing the mainland germany the nazi germany they came across first concentration camp of buchenwald in buchenwald concentration camp the allied forces the americans the french and the british largely they saw the concentration camp where jews were being killed in their masses there were basically hardly anything on their bones hardly any flesh on their bones and people were walking like as if the dead bodies are walking they saw that horrific image and the then allied commander and later who became the president of the united states the dwight d eisenhower he basically forced german people who were living nearby that concentration camps he forced them to visit that concentration camps and made them see it most of them went out crying they claimed that they did not know that this was happening but of course there were literally people were being burned out of that concentration the gas chamber and their ashes were uh, flown everywhere around the around surrounding area so it was difficult to say that they definitely did not know but dwight d eisenhower forced them to watch it so that they can never claim in the future that, that did, they did not know that this happened nobody could deny that holocaust happened holocaust in which 6 million jews were killed nobody could claim that of course later on the german government has made it illegal to deny holocaust holocaust deniers are being punished heavily in germany later after the second world war and even now some of them are getting punished that is something that we hope will happen if this if this movie the kashmir files might give illegitimacy to denying genocide on kashmiri hindus at least socially if not legally i have written an article on this very same topic on our website news bharti you will find the link of that article in the description of this video please go and read that article and if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you